I want to quickly talk about tabs versus spaces. Maybe you've heard of this before. It used to be a bit of a debate between developers. So what is it about? So I'm in a JavaScript file here and we have indentation, right? So this space you see here is what we refer to as indentation. And we want indentation so that our code is easier to read. If we did not have indentation, right? If I would remove all this indentation, you know, you would get your code like this. This is not pleasant to consume, right? It's difficult to read. There is no structure, right? So with, with indentation, we get a little bit of structure. For indentation, all developers press tab, right? So when, when I want to indent this, I press tab, right? So pretty much no developer is going to press the space bar uh, four times here, let's say, right? That doesn't happen. Everyone presses the tab key on your keyboard. Right, so the debate is not about should we press the tab key or should we press the spacebar key. Everyone presses the tab key. The debate is about that when we press the tab key, should we get a tab character or should we get space characters? So I have the default settings here in Visual Studio Code. You can see it at the bottom here, which is four space characters. So this means when I press tab here, Visual Studio Code will actually insert four space characters for me. That's the default setting in Visual Studio Code. And we can actually see this because if I select this uh, piece here, it's very small, but you can see there are four little circles here. These represent uh, a space character, right? So Visual Studio Code inserted these four space characters for me when I pressed tab. And what is considered a character, by the way? Well, you, every letter here, the E here, or this A here, right, or the T here, all of these are characters. Also the equal sign, right, the closing parenthesis, the opening curly brace, all of these are characters. And a space, if you press space, that's actually also considered a character, right? So these characters, they have a certain encoding in ASCII or uh, Unicode. Maybe you've heard of that before, but all of these things are characters, right? So I'm using spaces here, but I'm not in practice going to press the space bar four times, right? That would be too much work. My code editor will insert those four spaces for me when I press tab. So I'm using four spaces here, right? Four space characters. Now a common other preference is actually two space characters. So some people actually prefer a slightly more narrow uh, indentation. And I can actually change that, right? So if you click on this, you can actually change the settings. So here I'm, I'm indenting using spaces, right? Even though I'm pressing the tab key, Visual Studio Code will insert spaces for me, right? So I can click on that. And then it's going to ask me how many spaces, space characters, should I insert for you when, when you press tab. And the default is four, but a common other setting is two. Right? So you can also see that these columns actually change, changed when I changed that setting. Right? So now, for example, if I want to, if I want to indent this, this line here, if I press tab here, you can see it's indented now, but you can see it's a little bit smaller now. This, the width, the space, the indentation has become less wide, right? And also when I select here, you can see it, it's very small, but there are now two space characters instead of four, right? So in this debate about tabs versus spaces, well, I'm using spaces, but I'm pressing the tab key and I can configure how many space characters need to be inserted when I press the tab key, right? And most developers also use four spaces um, every time you press tab. So let me change that back. Now, a minority of developers argue that when you press tab, you should actually not get space characters, but you should get one tab character. And I can also show you this. Let me, I can actually convert this. Right, so if I select all of this, you can see all these space characters, right? I can actually convert that. So I can say, convert indentation to tabs, right? So now I'm gonna use what a minority of developers would argue is a better option. So I'm gonna say, convert indentation to tabs. And now it's interesting because now if I uh, select this, it's very small, but you're gonna see a little arrow, right? This is actually only one character, right? So before I had four characters, four space characters. Now I have one tab character, right? And Visual Studio Code displays the tab character as this little arrow. Now, how, do, how does Visual Studio Code know 
how much width here should be though. But if we only have one character, well, how does it know that it needs to be this width? Because we still have the same width here. The, the indentation is basically still the same size physically in terms of width. Well, that's because our tab size, what, what we're saying here is the size of one tab should be the equivalent of four spaces, right? So it's going to be one character, right? We have one character, but that one character will take up the same size as four space characters, right? So if I prefer two spaces, I can change the tab size. Let's see. Um, indent using tabs, I can set it to two. So now you can see it immediately changes. Now one tab, if I have one tab character, it will take up the space that's equivalent to two space characters, right? But it's still one character, right? But it's, it's taking up two spaces in terms of equivalent size. Okay, now what was the problem in the past? Let me go back to uh, the default settings. Uh, let's see, four spaces. All right, so now I have four characters here again, space characters. So what was the debate in the past? What's the, what, was the, what was the big problem? Well, here I'm using four spaces here, right? Four space characters. And this is what I use, this is what I prefer. But let's say someone else prefers two spaces, right? So because, you know, you're going to collaborate with other people, you're going to work in a team, right? So sooner or later, you're going to have to share your files with other people. If I would, you know, use four spaces here, and then someone else uh, has to work in this file, right? So I'm going to send this file to someone else, right? Either through GitHub or whatever, but some other person eventually is going to open this file on the on their computer in their own code editor, and they're going to see oh, there are four space characters here, right? And their code editor will actually insert four space characters, right? So in their code editor, it's gonna look the same as it's gonna look for me here. And that, now that's a problem because they don't like four spaces. They like two spaces. They wanna have a more narrow indentation. So that's a problem because now uh, they cannot easily change that. So it, it's, it would be a problem because I would basically force that person now to use four space characters. They could not easily convert that to two space characters. Right, now the solution to that was to use tabs. So then for indentation, let me convert this to tabs again. Right, so then uh, here we would have one tab character, right? You can see there's one tab character now. Right, I can select everything. You can see there, there's one tab character here. And in here where we have more indentation, there are two tab characters. Now for me, it will still look the same here because my tab size is set to four spaces of, of equivalent width. Right, And if I would now send this file to someone else, that someone else opens it up in their code editor on their computer, they may prefer a more narrow, right, two space of indentation, right? So what they can do is they can simply set the tab size to two, right? And then uh, in their code editor, it's gonna look like this. In my code editor, I have tab size four. Right, so in my code editor, it's, it's still going to look like how I want it to look. And in their code editor, it's going to look how they want it to look. Right, so with the tab character, we can set the tab size and everyone can have the indentation according to their own preferences. And with spaces, that's a different story. With spaces, it, you know, four space characters, that's always going to be four space characters. Right, so if we use tabs, everyone can use their own preference. And there are other subtle advantages of, of tabs as well. So then why do I use spaces? And why do most developers use spaces? Why have spaces become the default standard? There is something else that, that's not called indentation, but it looks like it. What you often also see, we haven't done this, but what you sometimes see is when you have to declare a lot of variables, for example, um, I have this, but now I also have another uh, variable B, right? Now, what you can actually write is the following. You don't have to write let again. You can simply uh, write a, a comma and then just the new name, right? Let's make it 20, right? So B is 20 and um, you don't have to write let again, right? So you can just have a comma if you have to create a lot of new variables. And people generally want to align this like this, right? So then I could have another new variable C and maybe D, right? So you don't have to write let every time. This, this is a shortcut. And we do want to nicely align this, right? So I want 
I want the B and the C and the D to be right below A, right? Now A has four characters here, right? So one, two, three, four, right? So if we want B to line up with A here, it needs four characters, right? And right now it has that, it has four space characters because that's my setting here. If we were using tab, right, we would have one tab character here and that other person would have the tab, the tab set to two spaces of, of equivalent width. Well, they would have two spaces, right? It would look like this for them. Right, so then when they open the file, they're going to see this. Right, it's going to be misaligned. Right, so for alignment, we do actually want to basically force the other person to have the same number of characters. Right, so for alignment, we actually have to use spaces, right, like I'm doing here. And since we're already using spaces for alignment, we might as well just use spaces for indentation as well. Right, this is what I'm using here. If I press tab, I get four spaces. That's right? four space characters. Right, so now I'm using spaces everywhere for alignment and for indentation. Right, so that's why it is the default that when you press tab, you get, usually you get four spaces, but you can change it any way you want. Now, that being said, Spaces are the standard and most developers use spaces like I'm doing here. Now there are some good arguments to be made for tabs though. Like there are more subtle, smaller arguments. You can look them up. This was the debate in a nutshell. All right, that was it for this video. Hope that you learned a lot. Now, if you like the video and you wanna become a professional modern JavaScript developer, then definitely check out the full course. It has two beautiful real world projects that we built from scratch and you will learn much more like fetch and promises and async await, destructuring the spread operator, advanced JavaScript, how to structure or architect your projects, modern front-end concepts like components, state, and rendering, and much more. It's all in there. Check it out. The link is in the description. In any case, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.